My name is Tony Jones. I live in Garden Grove, California. The product we're going to be talking about today is a solar surfboard and charge up your small little lithium battery that will charge your cell phone, your iPhone, your smartphone, your radio, your flashlight, any small electrical appliance, this will charge it. My phone just died. Can I borrow your... Uh, there you go. Plug in. Your board. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. Charging. <laughs> Well, the market with the solar surfboard is very small, but let me show you what we have going here. Okay, number one, we have the solar surfboard, okay? Now, what if you don't want a solar surfboard, but you are a surfer, okay? Then we have the solar surfboard bag. Let me show you that. You can charge all your electronics with your bag, okay? All right, now you're gonna tell me, well, hey, I'm not even a surfer. How, how can I benefit from that? Well, let me show you. Do you ever go to the beach? Do you ever go camping? Check this out. Now you can charge as you're sitting at the campfire, sitting at the beach, wherever you're at, you can charge your electronics. Okay, what if you don't bring a chair to the beach? Okay, you're laying on the sand, right? All right. We thought about that. Come on over here, let me show you this. You can hang it off of your tent, or you can hang it off your canopy. I put mine on the dash of my car, charge my phone all the time. My phone is always dying, and it only dies when I want that important call. Just like my camera, that one in a million shot it dies, but with this, those days are over. Let's wax this baby up and get out and use it. And then we're going to show you how it works. Let me introduce you to my son Shane. He's going to go out and test it. Then we're going to bring it in and show you how it works. Well, it's the only clean, green, waterproof solar system. Well, the market is very small for the solar surfboard, but the reason I put it in the surfboard was uh, monetary, the money. So I figured, okay, I will start out first with putting it into a surfboard to see if it's watertight, but eventually I want to put it in all different boat hulls. I want to put it in RVs, kayaks, any type of outdoor uh, uh, system. Uh, it'll charge charge up all your different uh, appliances. So the boats, if you've ever had a boat, your batteries are always dying. With this system in your hull, you'll never have to buy another battery again. They're quite expensive. They're two, three, four, five hundred dollars. With this system in your boat, that's eliminated. I'm looking for between 550, 750,000. I'm willing to give up 25%. The money will be used for more R&D work and we want to do trade shows nationally and worldwide in the RV and boat industry. I have a patent pending on the solar surfboard. I have two uh, trademarks on the solar surfboard, one for solar surfboard and one for the Outback series for boats, um, windows, canopies, ferry boats, kayaks. Well, the development is actually completed. Um, my testing is taking uh, one year of uh, fiberglass fabrication classes and uh, two years of the R&D work. I'm ready for market as we speak. Uh, the product hasn't made me any money yet because I just brought it to the public uh, June of this year, which it is now June 20th. The uniqueness about this product is that it charges in the shade. It does not need direct sunlight to capture the radiation from the sun. And I came up with the idea, we, I travel around the world, my batteries were always dying in my camera or my cell phone. I thought, you know what, if I could find a cell that's light enough that I could put my surfboard while I'm out on my expeditions making my furniture and my tiki's, I can charge up my electronics as I rest it. Look, I've got $10,000 invested. If it doesn't make it to the market uh, the way I would like it, that's okay because I'll get on to the next project. The ultimate goal for this product is to get it in all the different boat hulls, all the different RVs, kayaks, anything that's outdoors that needs to be charged, I want this product in those units. The challenge, the biggest challenge, was getting the EMT plastic to bond to the fiberglass. It took an entire year of fiberglass fabrication classes to get it to adhere. It worked on the very last class, the very last experiment, and I got it. You know, whenever you come up with a new idea, there's always going to be skeptics on it. So, you know, that's no big deal. It'd be nice if everybody loved it, but that's just not the way things are. This is the most funnest recreation in the world, and it'll charge all your electronics. How much better can that be?
Well, it's clean, it's green, and it's the next phase. We've been using uh, fossil fuel for a couple hundred years now, so it's time to start using nature. It's free, and let's get energy from it. Okay, where are we going? All right, well, we're gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna open up the three watt, take out our water plug. Full ring seal, okay. Has a port on the inside. Now look at the uh, battery. Okay. Okay, now that we've charged up our storage battery, this is 28 milliamps. So what you do is you charge up your small battery, you have a battery on the go. So whenever you're traveling anywhere, you just plug into this, or there's many other types on the market. This is just the one that we're using right now. You put this in your pocket, you can charge your stuff on the go. So it's portable. You don't want to put a battery inside your unit. I've already done all of that. What happens if the battery fails? Batteries do fail every now and then. So you have a storage battery that's portable and it's not embedded into the board. What's up, no, Solar Board 2011? Okay, Tom.